Welcome, welcome everyone. Welcome to the Bridge Builders of Diversity. Today's topic is going to be about the baby formula shortage in regards to our special needs children. Um, as you know, or those who follow us, I am a mother of a child with Down syndrome and my son had to be on special formula when he was younger. So my heart really goes out to these mothers who um, are struggling to get formula because um, I know both my children, even my oldest was lactose intolerant. So we had to find uh, special formulas for both my children. Um, and Roberta is a special education teacher. So she's very familiar I, um, with the feeding process of special needs. needs. There, are, there are students out there with, um, with special needs that require them to be fed through something called a feeding tube. It can also be called the G tube, or um, some families lovingly refer to it as the button. And what these children are typically fed because it's so easily digestible is infant formula. Um, there's very, and most children, unfortunately, a lot of children with these feeding needs have um, sensitivities and they have to be on specialized formulas, a higher level of nutrition or they may have to um, have, be, have more frequent feedings than a typical child. So this is a very, very serious issue. And mm -hmm. I know that I've gotten a little bristly looking at social media, um, hearing people say, oh, just breastfeed, or oh, just make the formula. But um, not every breast mother can breastfeed. My first son was huge, and I had a stroke after he was born. And my body wasn't producing anything because my body was trying to take care of me. And when Nathan was born, he was in the NICU um, right. and he had a hole in his heart. So not a, yeah, not a lot of NICU moms can breastfeed. I no. mean, there's a lucky few. Um, so every, every case is individual. So I really, really, if you're hearing that from people in your community around you, um, please try to help us spread some compassion because not every case is simple and cut and dry. Um, there are so many reasons that a mother might choose not to breastfeed or not be able to make that choice for herself. Um, and the, 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 the next point I wanted to bring out is a lot of people are bringing back that whole recipe for infant formula that I was fed and because I was a preemie, I was fed extra Cairo syrup. We know so much more about nutrition than we did in 1960. Um, we also know that, that the, the, the type of evaporated milk that's used in that recipe is not easily digestible for infants. And they don't extract from that the, um, the nutrients that they need. Infant formula is especially engineered and designed to be broken down easily by these brand new digestive tracts. That's why so, it's heavily um, regulated by the FDA because of the nutrient contents in the right, breast milk. And if, right. if you can't find formula, reach out to your pediatrician before you try and do some online thing. Yeah, Get don't it listen to yeah. the things you're hearing on the interwebs. You're getting bad intel. Yes, reach out to your pediatrician who can direct you. They may have a contact with the um, organization they work with for their samples or whatever. And check um, your local community. <clears throat> a lot of moms are banding together yep. and creating um, like email blasts and social media sites. Where and there's still La Leche clubs too. And they're helping out as well. Yes. Yeah. The communities are coming together to let people know, hey, I found this type of formula, this place. I know this place is passing out samples. Call this number. There's so actually a couple moms who made a uh, app that shows where the formula is. I don't remember the name of it, but if you Google it, I'm sure you can find it. They have an interactive map of the different formulas and exactly. where you we'll can find them. that that you read on the website. And again, like Sherry, I'm going to reiterate what Sherry said, reach out to your pediatrician's office if you are struggling to find formula. Um, mm -hmm. Please don't ever water down or try to stretch out infant formula. It is very, very dangerous. Um, please don't feed your child the concoction that a 60s babies were were fed there's so much research now saying that that 
that early introduction to cow's milk and Cairo syrup and all that thickening stuff um, that packed on the calories wasn't good for us. Right. Um, so talk to your pediatrician. There may be some new formula that they know about. Um, you know, we're not nutritionists here. I'm just a mom. Roberta's a teacher. Uh, right. But we're very familiar with the feedings of children of special needs and how difficult it is under normal circumstances right. to and feed these children. Also understand that there are children with special needs who may be um, surviving on infant formula well past their infancy because, because of a, spe a, a special need or an exceptionality that, that mm -hmm. requires them to be to sustain their life. On right. Even the uh, pharmacist, I uh, was reading a story today out of New York, the Hamden Journal. I'll uh, attach it down below. But this pharmacist was actually having to ration to those type of special needs kids in his community, because I guess those type of formulas with the G tubes come from the pharmacist. I didn't even realize that. And he is yeah. having to ration that amongst the patients at his pharmacy. Well, and that they get it under a prescription because of their child's exceptionality and special needs, but also because it's paid for by their insurance. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That, See, that, that was something in I, some I, cases, not every case, but yeah. in some cases it, it comes to the pharmacist because of that. And what a, what a gut wrenching choice for a pharmacist to have to make to say, I can only give you one can today. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, yes. Um, I'll this attach that really article. Sensitive situation a really touchy topic and i know a lot of people are being really flippant about it so let's um let's, let's support our moms let's all, build some bridges and support yeah. our moms all moms yeah. even moms who have typical children who are, are frightened out of their mind trying to find Thank the next you. bottle of formula as well um along with the special needs babies um and the special needs babies aren't going to be able to transition to the next level a month early or anything like that you know um, they're in that pattern for a lot longer than the typical kids. So let's support our moms, help them find uh, the proper formula. Some bridges, folks. And yeah. if you have, if you have, if you see infant formula, um, try to let a new mom know. Yeah. Or, or like post it on your um, your local, your community social media. Let right. people know if you found, especially the the rare and unusual formulas. Um, so. With that being said, thank you. We appreciate you. Yes. If there's anything you want to hear about, drop us a comment. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We love you. Um, I think I said everything. Yes. Don't forget to uh, subscribe, share this video out, hit the like button. That helps us get out into the YouTube universe. That would be greatly appreciated. Um, hit the bell notification so you get our next videos. All right. Thank you, guys. We appreciate everything.